It is upon us. Ragnarok. No, I've stopped Ragnarok. I put an end to Sota. No. It's already begun. She's coming. Yeah. Oh, who are you talking about? Goddess of Death. Hela. A firstborn. Your sister. I have a theory that Hela, the Goddess of Death, is still alive. The ending of Ragnarok left it ambiguous. Surtur stabbed the foundation of Asgard with his sword, exploding it into bits and pieces. Still, I believe Hela survived that. Here, I must say that at this point nobody cares if Hela is alive or not, since there is a possibility that Hela's appearance in the MCU was a one and done thing. Still, you might find this very interesting as she had a key role to play in Thanos' quest of gathering infinity stones. Hela is a goddess of death. Nobody gets a title like that without deserving it. Surely, she must have the ability to choose who gets to live and who gets to die, meaning she has control over her own death as well. So even though she was stabbed with Surtur's sword, she must have healed herself after the explosion. Also, as you must know, Hela draws her power from Asgard. And as the line goes, Asgard is not a place, it's a people. So even though the Asgardians hate her, the fact that they were present when Asgard was destroyed must have healed her completely. The only problem now was that she was floating in the emptiness of space, incapacitated and waiting for a ride. Now comes Thanos in the story. After decimating Xander, his next target was Asgard for the Space Stone. When he arrived there, he got disappointed to see someone else had done his work for him, that is destroying Asgard. But in this floating rubble, he found someone, someone who calls herself the Goddess of Death. At first, the plan was to search for the Space Stone in the debris. But Hela must have informed him that Asgardians escaped in a spaceship and must not be far from here. This is how Thanos managed to track down the Asgardians so fast. Initially, I wanted to end my theory here, but then I felt the urge to add a romantic angle to it. Seeing a man as passionate as she was for killing, Hela was love-struck, and possibly Thanos reciprocated the same feeling. Now, Thanos is a killer, but he is also just. He would have wanted to kill only half of his guardians, but it was Hela's insistence that made him destroy the entire Asgardian spaceship. Fast forward to the events in the beginning of Endgame. Avengers surprise Thanos at the garden. They demand infinity stones and when they don't get them, Thor decapitates Thanos and then they leave. Meanwhile, Hela is watching all this from the shadows. Being the goddess of death, putting a cut off head back in place should not be very hard for her. So she does that. They kiss and then they live happily ever after. Is this convincing enough? Let me add one more point to my argument. You know how Thanos threw his favorite daughter Gamora off a cliff just to acquire the soul stone? That was cold. Cold even by his standards. Now losing a loved one is painful. It feels as if we have lost a part of ourselves. Thanos must have felt it too. The only reason he overcame it is because he found someone new to fill that void. That is Hela, the goddess of death and his future wife. This is my theory. Does it feel exaggerated? Tell us what you feel in the comments down below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, world building is so fantastic that I am a fanatic.